Hi there, thanks for joining me today. We've got a snow foam showdown. Look at all this stuff. We've got some autoglin products. We've got the gun. We've got the Polar Blast snow foam. We've got the stone banks. This is a cheaper gun. This is the cheapest gun I could find, pretty much. $9.99. Uh, we've got the Karcher gun, which comes in at about 20 quid, which is the one down the front here. We've got the Pro Clean snow foam. Uh, this is about £17 for five litres. We've got the Dirt Blasters. Uh, dirt blasters, dirt busters. Um, this one is uh, 17, no, not, this one's 19 pounds for five liters. The Auto Glim is about the same, 17 pounds. You can generally pick this up for only for two and a half liters though. So the difference in these, it's chalk and cheese really. This one washes, the dilution rate on the Auto Glim is five to one. So it goes a long way. The Pro Clean one, this one is diluted to a third. So two parts water, one part foam for the Pro Clean one. The Dirt Busters one, this one is 50 50. So they're all very similar prices two and a half litres, five litres, five litres. But when you've got the dilutions, they're not too far apart in what the actual quantity of washes you're getting with them. Um, so which one is going to foam up? Which one is going to do the best job? That's what we're all about. That's what we're going to find today. We need to find the best gun. The most expensive gun is the Auto Glim gun. It is a lovely bit of kit, but it is pricey. You're paying about £30 for this one. Um, so it's not cheap. It's not a cheap gun, but it does feel nice. This one is very light and um, floppy. And cheap. Yeah, uh, but it might work a treat. I don't know. Let's get into the box of the Karcher one. I've not even opened this one yet. I promised you this video when I did the Karcher K3 pressure washer review. So it's been a while coming, but finally I'm getting around to doing it. So uh, thanks for hanging on if you've been waiting for it. Ooh, well, that is super light. Um, very light, that is. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, smaller than the others, but maybe it'll work a treat. It's got the nozzle already attached to it, so it's very easy to clip into the cartridge machine, whereas these ones use the adapter. The, quick fitting attachment on the end of it so both that one and this stone banks one need the adapter to to run um, quick release top on that okay that's that's quite a nice feature no thread on it all of the guns work in a very similar way you've got an adjustment on the top and you've also got an adjustment on the nozzle to alter the different uh, spray patterns same again and a nozzle on, nozzle on the top there uh, and this one and you can actually see when you turn it what's happening to that it's turning that and making that nozzle smaller or fatter um, but yeah they all they're all very similar in that respect The only one you can't see any difference on is the cartridge one. It just looks the same, but it must be altering and nozzle inside. The Auto Glim bottle is super heavy duty. You know, it's really solid. It's mega thick vinyl plastic. Um, good silicon hose on it. Brass fittings. It's it's an industrial tool. That is that's that's for the trade, um, and that's why you're paying big money for it. This one. Got a crappy plastic hose on it, doesn't fill off as nice. It's made of brass that bit though, so that's not too bad. The bottle's decent as well, that's got a good uh, thickness to it, but it's got a really small head on it, so it's it's hard to get the fluids in. Karcher one, quick release top like we said. Cheap plastic nozzle, everything's plastic on this. There ain't no brass in there at all, it's just a complete plastic piece of kit. Um, bottle is not as sturdy as the other two, but it's still quite neat. It's still okay. Now I've marked this bottle. This is five to one, so I'll fill it to there with the Polar Blast and that up to there with water. So what we'll do is I'll do the mix in here and then I'll share it between all of them so we know they're all getting exactly the same fluid. So I'll just fill that to the mark with... We're up to the level there with the Polar Blast. I'll fill it up with water. OK. 
Okay, up to the, the level there. And then we'll share it out with all three. See how this has got a really nice big top on it. It's so easy to mix. Just tipping anything into these other ones is a real pain. Yeah, I couldn't find a clean funnel. Let's go with it. Okay, so we've got some in that one. We've got some in that one. All of them have now got the same mixture of foam in. Let's go and see what it comes out the nozzle like. Is it going to be a thick foam? Is there going to be any difference with the nozzles on these guns? Let's find out. Let's get the tops on, and then we need a car. Let's see what we can find. You've got the old bus. There she is. Good old smoker. 170,000 miles. Still going strong. And we're going to use the Karcher K3 pressure washer. Which one first? Let's do the Karcher one first and see what that comes out like. So we just press the end of that, twist it, pop it out. We get the container on this one. We've got to just push it in, oh, twist, oh, that's tight. Houston, we have a problem. Oh dear, oh dear, that's not a good start. <laughs> it's quite stuck. It's jammed already. Oh. Brand new, straight out the box, and it don't fit onto the gun. There's an issue with this, so um, which we'll sort out in a minute. To the testing hand. Okay, so we've got the adjuster on the top. Let's go down here. Hold that that way. So it's watery to full foam. So we want full foam. Can we alter the spray on it? Oh, oh that's not doing a great deal. So on the culture one, all this does is just alters the direction. It doesn't actually alter any of the, the thickness or the foaminess. They've just got, um, you've got your full there. That's it. Ooh, okay, okay. I was hoping for more thicky foamy than that, to be fair. Let's get this one off a second if I can. Ugh. Oh, okay, finally. It's getting looser. It's getting looser. Right. I'll take the adapter off that and put it onto the stone banks one. Pop that into the gun. And what fitted a minute ago is now not fitting. So we have got an issue. Something's happened to my gun. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned at this point, thinking that that new Karcher foam gun has actually done something to the end of me, me trigger on my wand. And lo and behold. Oh, it looks like the gubbins from the inside of the Karcher one is now stuck in the, uh, yeah, it's stuck in the gun. That's ridiculous. What a, I don't buy the culture on it, it's absolute bloody rubbish. Oh man, so now I've got to try and get 
that out of that's why it's cloth easy because the bit's still stuck in the still stuck in here. Yeah, so right in the end of the gun, you see in there we've got an O-ring and we've got the, the yellow bit which should be attached to the cartridge gun. So let's go fishing. I get my long nose pliers down there and I found if I could just grab it and just twist it. There's the O-ring. I could just manipulate it out, just twisting it and pulling it and slowly it was coming away. Really tight though. And hopefully it's not yeah, done too much damage to it. Oh. If you bought one of these Karcher guns and it's no good, drop me some comments. I'd love to know how you've got on with it. Just twists and locks in. To the, let's hold to the nozzle on it. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa, too much. That's gone on so much thicker. That's it, we are at maximum on the coma. That's what I'm talking about though. How much better is that? So that's the uh, Stone Banks one. It's gone on quite nice. Quite pleased with that. And then the Auto Glim one. How thick that is! Yeah, yeah. That is definitely. I mean, it's so thick and creamy down there. There's not a lot in these two, for sure. The, that is definitely thicker than that. But they are quite close in the, the way it's come out of the guns. The Karcher one. If, well, you can see already. It's dissolved. It's crap. That surprised me that has. That surprised me a lot. Let's just go back. I don't put this on my gun again. Well, if I don't dare put it on. It's no, don't do it. it up again. Don't do it. Oh, you fool. So tight. It's so tight going on. Yeah, don't put it on. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, I can't, he won't, he won't. It's so tight, I'm going to have to do something with that. That's just really tight through there. Pop the plastic bit out, just put my file in it. Just see if we can clean it up a bit. It shouldn't be that tight, it's probably got a bear on it or something. I think Karcha need to have a look at their quality control when sending stuff out. Brand new and it don't work. Mm, a bit better. And although there's still some in the bottle, it's not picking it up. So it's like the pipe inside that the tank isn't long enough. It's not getting right to the bottom. If I just altered it slightly, you can see a bit more froth coming out. Yeah, it's a bit short. Well, maybe it doesn't get quite to the bottom of the top. Let's tip a bit more in it. And again, that small neck on the cartridge bottle is really hard to tip stuff into. Whereas the auto glim's got that lovely big hole, right? Especially when you knock it over, lock and go in a minute. There's all my fluid gone down the drive. <laughs> it's a comedy, comedy of errors, this is. That foam's just not very good, though, is it, look? It just doesn't do it, does it? it doesn't, doesn't go on as it should. It's just so much more water, you can see it running off really quickly. Whereas the uh, the other ones, they were definitely thicker and staying on longer. 
Oh my god, this one is so tight. Ugh. Oh, he's done it again. No! This is enough to do your head in. I'm determined though, I'm going to uh, get the file on it again, give it a bit more, <laughs> put it back. It's got to work this time. This is definitely going in the next prize draw. Oh, that's better finally. That file no end off that. But now it's going on and coming off alright. Okay. But yeah, you can see the difference. Look, the auto glim, I put that on long, long before that one is gone. Yeah. Not happy with that. Right. So that small test has just showed us that the auto glim gun is definitely the best. Um, there's not a lot in it between these two, but that is definitely the best one. So I'm going to pull the phone back into that one and we'll do all the testing using the auto glim gun with the other fluids. And it fits so well. thick it is, it's so thick, it is ridiculous, it's great. Let's get the other two bottles out here, we'll get some mixed up and uh, see what they look like. Right, kind of got a blank canvas there. Let me go and empty this out, give it a rinse and then we'll go again. Okay, so that's just water now, I'll tip that away. Right, that was a polar blast, works a treat. Let's try the uh, Dirt Busters Snow Foam. Now this one was mixed at 50-50. So um, let's go 50 parts water to 50 parts cleaning fluid. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got on there 200 mil of foam. 200 mil of water. It smells nice. <laughs> mm. Oh, it smells lovely. What is it? It's uh, cherry fragrance. Yeah, it does smell nice. Here we go. seem to be dripping off quite well. How's it comparing to the auto glimmer? We'll watch the timings else. We'll do a side by side on this in a minute and see which one stays on the longest. Four minutes, 50 seconds after putting it on. So, not too bad. Rinse that down. Right, let's go and try the last one. See what that comes out like. Right, so the Pro Clean Snow Foam Cherry Fragrance again. This one is one third cleaner, two thirds water. So, uh, let's go for 100 mil of this on this one. Looks very similar. Uh, yeah, 100 mil. 
and then we want 200 mils of water. Give this a go. But it is again running off quite quickly. Then it's definitely running off quicker than the auto glim one did. Glim again just to see because obviously the paintwork's wet it was dry when we put the auto glim on wasn't it let's try it now on a wet paintwork just to make it fair I think that's probably the answer because that is coming off far quicker than what the other ones did because the paintwork was wet when I put it on yeah, I mean, that hasn't frothed up as much as them other ones, has it? So the wet paintwork definitely makes a difference to it. Ooh, well that's made it interesting. On those results, I don't think the auto glim is the thickest. It's still pretty thick, isn't it? It is pretty good. Well, one thing I have to say, with all of these products, you spray them on, you rinse them off, it doesn't get rid of all the dirt. It's not a miracle kind of cleaner. Um, there is still residue left on there. I still like to spray the foam on and then give it a quick brush then rinse it off and then I'm happy with that. So I get my old brush and I just give it a give it a quick just eases off any of that dirt that's a bit stubborn. You don't need to keep dipping it in your bucket because you've got that much foam on the car. You could use a sponge if you like your sponge. What I don't want though is for my foam to disappear before I finish scrubbing it down. So uh, it's nice to have a good thick foam on there. Now this Vicam brush, it is expensive. You're talking about 60 quid for the brush and the pole. But it's really nice, it's nicely made and it's really good quality. It's a really good quality bristle on there. So they class this snow foam as a pre-cleaner. So you put it on, blow it off, it gets rid of all the big gritty dirt and stuff. And then you go over it with your wash and wax polish um, depends how fussy you are about your car for me I do this I rub it over with the thing blast it off and generally she's as good as gold um, and then give the wheels a little bit of extra help if they need a bit of extra, extra help but this should now come off looking all right the foam jet washes off with considerable ease it comes off quite nicely not a lot of effort involved in that you can see as we're just going at real speed there. A nice waft and it does come off. You do get the bubbles stuck in some of the nooks and crannies. Like I was saying then, you can have a close look at the wheels now. So we've still got, we've got rid of a, a majority of the dirt, but you see like this here, you can still see it in there and it's not totally stubborn. I can still wipe that with my finger and it, 
so you still have to give it an agitation to get it off the dirt just doesn't fall off with the snow foam and it doesn't matter what mate you use you still have this problem where it's not a miracle it's nice it does a good job but you have still got to work at it the downside to it is the amount of foam that you get left on your driveway at the end of it absolutely tons of the stuff so let's give it another quick blast on the wheels and I can just get my sponge and just show you that a little bit of agitation and it does come off quite easily it's really nice to work with the foam it's a lovely it's a lovely not like froth that's a good word isn't it froth I'm just go over the whole car with a microfiber towel now I always used to use the chamois leather and until I found these oh they're brilliant yeah pretty pleased with that now it's been bugging me I've got to go back and do this again on the polar blast because it's been working so well and that result just didn't look right so I've remixed again and gone at it and this shows that the mix has got to be perfect to do this test so my test is flawed um, <laughs> but look how thick this is coming out now this is a remix of the stuff and I've got it absolutely spot on with the measurements and it's coming out really really good really snowy the thing with the polar blast is it's a five to one mix so you've only just got to get a little bit too much water, a little bit less foam in there. It makes a big difference. And when we're talking about thickness of snow foam, look at that. This is the auto glim. Oh, it is thick as you like. It's wicked. How long is it going to last for though? We shall see. So we've got a side by side test on all of these. And like I say, it's a little bit flawed because I didn't, I got the measuring jug, but all of them could be slightly out. Um, they all work, they all do a really good job, but here's, here's, here's my final results. Four minutes, ten seconds on the Pro Clean, till I rinsed it off, till the bubbles had almost disappeared. The next one, and you can see it's hanging in really well, the Dirt Busters. The Auto Glim is just sticking, the last sort of like bit of bubble stayed for ages. Um, four minutes fifty for the uh, Dirt Busters, but this Auto Glim, it stayed like that for fifteen minutes nearly. It was yeah really good and I got the brush on it straight afterwards and there was still enough foam on there for me to do a really good clean so yeah 14 14 minutes or thereabouts is a really good sticky foam so yeah really pleased with that and it rinsed off nicely at the end of it car 170,000 miles not looking too bad right, let's try and pull some kind of conclusion together with this what we've got all of this stuff it all works it all does a job the crappiest of these is the Carter one that is garbage that was straight out the box didn't fit very well kept getting stuck gave me all sorts of problems and the foam wasn't brilliant so that can go over there that's not the best this one came in second not bad at all for the money it's pretty pretty good it was given a really good foam um, just hard to get in because you need a funnel it's not got a very wide neck on it top one is the auto glim that is just banging in all respects it's quality it works it works amazing so that's that's the one 30 quid but 30 quid well spent we've got the foams then um they all did a good job to be fair they all did a they all got a good foam um originally i thought the auto glim was giving the best foam but i think that's because we put that one on first it went on dry it stuck better it does give a really nice thick foam but so did the other two the other two work really well um so we've got to sort of say price wise is and how many washes that's that's the key to it and my mathematician here i'm just giving a quid of <laughs> bit of a go lot 600 mil bottle you get two washes it wash two cars when that's full you get two good car washes out of it um so going on this one the auto glim one 25 fills gives us 50 washes the pro clean 200 milliliters per bottle um, again it'll give us 50 washes because it's a five litre tub um, the dirt busters one is 50 50 and that knocks it down to 32 washes so yeah the um, yeah the dirt busters one although it's it's it does a reasonable job it's going over there with those um, and I think we're going to call it a draw on these two I think we'll go for a draw on them and that is definitely the uh, the gun to have none of them will clean the car perfectly without using any agitation um you can it's a pre-wash snow foam is classed as a pre-wash you're supposed to blast it on 
uh, let it soak in, jet wash it off, it gets rid of all the loose dirt and everything, it gets rid of most of the dirt, and then you go for a, a wash and wax afterwards. If you're lazy like me when it comes to washing the car, I just line to whack the snow foam on, get the brush on it, give it a good agitation, jet wash it off, perfect light, you know. My car, it looks okay, it's not a, it's not a Rolls Royce, it's never gonna have a deep um, polished shine to it. If you did, you'd have to take more care, um, otherwise you'll get some you know, scratch marks and stuff, but it works fine for me. It's a tool at the end of the day, and um, this is a great way of washing and keeping it looking nice. I mean, it don't look bad, it's, a, it's an old girl, but it looks nice, and yeah, I shall crack on with these and carry on using them. If it's been a use to you, um, drop me a little thumbs up, drop me some comments, always love your comments. I'm sure there'll be plenty of your haters in there who'll be going, don't use a brush on your car and all that. Use a foam and yeah, don't drop your sponge like I did in one of my videos. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a giggle. We've created some snow outside. It's the foam is everywhere, uh, but the car's looking nice and clean. As always, I'll put links in the description for everything. The gun, the stuff, the th and if I've got any discount codes coming in, I'll put those in as well. Usually, I can get a couple of discount codes and we can get you some money off you, the, the product. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on those. Always check the description and the videos. Uh, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>